Sorry guys, there was some confusion. Actually, I was waiting on the desktop application and uh, unfortunately it was uh, to be scheduled on the web. So sorry to keep you waiting, but uh, I hope now it's all uh, done. So let me just start right for uh, straight away. So, okay. So uh, uh, I hope I'm audible to everyone. Hello. Am I audible to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, and my screen is visible? Sir. Okay, so what I'll doing just to, uh, I'll suggest you people to switch off your videos just for the sake of uh, saving bandwidth on my side, because I'm using a mobile connection. And so there may be a bandwidth issue. So please, uh, from your side, each one of you should uh, uh, switch off your video so that you can keep receiving the video, but you, uh, at least you will not transmit the video. Okay. And uh, yeah, so let me participant. So there are good number of, there are 13 people who have joined so far. I hope uh, quite a, you can just uh, set some reminder, I mean, uh, uh, send a message to others also so that they can also join because might be during this uh, wait period, they have just uh, uh, gone off. Uh, Sanchita is one name which is not appearing here and she is sending me, me uh, an email to me that uh, she is waiting for quite some time. So just ask each one of them to join me. I am now online and I am starting it now. Should I start? Yes, sir. Okay. So good morning, guys. Uh, yesterday we, okay. So, and, uh, right now I'll uh, suggest you people to please uh, mute your audios also so that I do not get, uh, uh, a whisper or some kind of disturbance in my earphone. Otherwise, uh, I may not be able to really, uh, uh justify this lecture. Okay. So, uh, Yesterday, we started discussion on awk and unfortunately, we could not complete it. Uh, so let me just uh, restart the entire discussion from the beginning itself. See, Unix is not a single, uh, uh, Unix is not an operating system alone. It's a full system in the sense that it provides lot many tools for productivity also. Uh, and uh, when the system was designed, in fact, lot many people wanted to have the, because uh, not many spreadsheet kind of applications were not available at that time. So an application was required, which can fulfill their data processing needs. And please remember, uh, text is still an important format for data storage because of so many advantages which it offers. So awk is one such tool which is available under Linux and this can be used for many purposes. Now, what awk is all about? Awk is uh, basically an interpreted programming language. Uh, interpreted programming language, you need to understand what is the meaning of uh, interpreted programming language is that when you write a program in any interpreted language, one command or one source line is executed at a time. It's not like uh, your C programming language where you can write the program, convert it into an executable and then use it again. No, it's not that. It's an interpreted language. So whenever uh, you want to run it, you have to run it on the system itself. It does not create an executable. It's very powerful and especially designed for text processing. Please remember, uh, this is 
Awk is used only for text processing and not for other kind of processing. And we'll see what kind of processing uh, on text is possible with this. The name is derived from its uh, inventors or those who wrote this particular application. That is Alfred O. Peter Wienwager and Brian Kernick. Please mute your audio. Audio means your mic. Please mute your mics. A lot of noise in my uh, earphone. So all participants, please uh, mute your microphones. Yeah, now it's all right. Okay. Okay. And there are several word, uh, variants of awk which have been uh, designed at multiple times. So not very interested in those. Now, what are the basic and typical uses of awk? See, as I told you, the basic purpose of awk is text processing. It is text processing and it is used for text processing. What kind of text it can produce and what kind of processing it can carry out, we'll just see. No, 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 no. Somebody is speaking. Please mute your microphones. Okay. okay. Sarbesh, you're, you are speaking. So please mute your uh, microphone. Please remember, this is my as an admin uh, panel. I'm getting everyone's view here. What what I uh, accept video, uh, what you are doing uh, if your uh, speaker is uh, not on that I'm getting if somebody's uh, mic is uh, unmuted that everything is available to me. So I'm getting a complete view and so I can uh, simply uh, point out Mohit Sharma your uh, mic is, is still not unmuted. It is still unmuted, Mohit. Okay. Now, see, in any data processing, the requirement at the end of the day is that we need reports. So, what it can provide you or can produce formatted text reports. Then at point of time, we will require some arithmetic operations. So we can use the arithmetic. Uh, it provides you arithmetic operations in performing string operations and many more. Now, one of the beauty of awk is that though awk is in itself an scripting language or it's a scripting platform, but it can be invoked inside the shell also. So you can combine the awk with the shell programming and so you can write really powerful tools uh, power, powerful applications without having to resort to or uh, without resorting to a programming language okay now this is a slightly more detailed list of uh, uh, operations which awk can perform now remember awk is an interpreted language uh, it's basically an interpreted, it provides you an interpreted language platform. Now, what it does is it, every line is basically process of an input file is processed at a time. Please remember, I have been emphasizing it again and again, it's a text processing tool. So it reads one line of the text. And so, and that line is processed, how that will be discussing. Then, each line is split into fields. I will come to that. Remember, uh, this is uh, uh, something like a data processing application. So uh, you are familiar with the tables. And because you are familiar with the tables, in tables, what you have is you have the uh, columns. Now, each column is a field. So it also provides you the fields. Compares input fields to the pattern. We'll see uh, the processing is based on the pattern matching. So we'll see how that is performed and then performs action on the matched lines. And what it is useful for is transforming the data files, produce formatted reports and programming constructs. This is, uh, I'm again emphasizing, this is a very powerful programming const uh, environment. Okay, so just see. And this is what, how it works, see. 
you have an awk script running here uh, sorry uh, it's an awk uh, interpreter which is running here okay let me just see if i can uh, annotate it yeah it's available so just see this box is basically for uh, your awk and this is the script which will be running Okay, now this script will take the data from this input file or the standard input output device. So there are four components of the entire processing you can see. You have the awk uh, application, you have the script, which is basically the set of commands which you want to run on the data and data is stored on this data file or you can provide the data from the uh keyboard also so basic and how do we invoke or uh, the awk is that awk is the keyword then you have the options options there are two basic options which we'll be using uh that is minus f is input field separator and minus f uh, sorry uppercase f is for input field separators and lowercase f is for script file that what is the name of the script and then this is these are your input files to go to the next slide now okay now this basically suggests you the awk workflow what is the workflow that when a data is presented to an awk script how it is going to really uh, process this particular file so what it has is awk is a full fledged uh, program uh, and so it has three basic sections i'll discuss more about these sections a little later but it has a begin section it has an end section and this is your processing section which is basically this is this is the processing section okay now this processing section once beginning and uh, is completed then in this processing section what it will do is it will read a line from the input stream and a stream may come either from a file it may come from a pipe or a standard input device file we have already discussed standard io devices uh, your keyboard or a pipe pipe is basically that some command is providing you the data and so that can be that can also be processed by this it will execute uh, the instructions which are listed in this section, the annotated section. And then it will keep on repeating this. Please see, this is a loop here. Please see, this is, this is uh, these, all these lines, all these three stages, are in the form of a loop so it will read one uh, record execute the op commands on a line and then repeat till it is end of file and then you have the end block which is basically uh, the wrap up operation we'll discuss more about these details a little later okay now this is how the program uh, structure is it has a begin block so basically what it does is when the program is started the begin block is executed and it executes only one. Now, the basic purpose of a begin block is initialization. So whatever variables we want to use within the script, all of these uh, variables are initialized at the, in the begin block. Then you have the body block. Body block is those, uh, Just look at this. Uh, this is your begin block and this is the body block. These stages put together. These three stages, this is the body block. And then what you have is 
the end block. So, and then what we have is the end block. So there are three sections. Begin section, you can call it, you have a processing section or a body section, and then you have the end block. And the, what the end block does is, it executes at the end of the program and end is an awk keyword. Remember, begin is also an awk keyword. You cannot use it for some other purpose. And it's all uppercase. Okay, now this is one program. Please, now I'm starting uh, the case studies or how powerful this is and how can we use it. See, in this, what we are, what we are uh, seeing is, this is your raw data, which is stored in a text file. So this you can type in any way. So what we can do is, so, uh, let's create a file marks.txt, which contains the serial number, name of the student, subject name, and number of the marks obtained. Now what you want is, in the output domain, what you are looking for is that, what these fields are all about. So say your first column, that is your serial number. The second is the name. The third one is the subject and the marks obtained. Now it does not have a header with this data. So what you can do is simply check this. In this, this is your prompt. So this is your prompt, not the command. And the command is, This is sorry, uh, there is some let me just do it again. This is your command. Sorry, again, I'm let's pull where is the highlighter actually. Okay, so the, the, the command for this one is just look at this command. Awk is the keyword here. Awk is the keyword that is the name of the application. Begin, please remember the awk keyword. Begin is the awk keyword and uh, see this is the single quote. This is not the back tick. This is the single quote. Then you have the begin keyword and what we are looking for, just see it. What we want is we want to print a line. That is the serial number, this uh, backslash T is for tab, then name, and this one. And so what it will give me is this one. This is my output. This is my output. Please see the output. At the top of this uh, file now, what you are getting is, or uh, the output report, the first column is written, the, the serial number, the name, the subject, and the marks. So a, a new header, a header can be uh, added to this. If you wish, you can format them again. We'll see how to do it further. So let me just, what is, Nitin, you have raised some, some queries you have raised. You can raise your hands if you have. Uh, if you want me to interrupt in between, please raise your hand because uh, I, I, I can see you here. So I hope uh, uh, nobody I means. Uh, can I continue? Okay. Okay. So let me just go to the now. This is a slightly more. Uh, Elaborate example. What I'm doing here is now we can provide awk commands. What I'm I have done is just go back to the previous slide. This this is your awk script. This is your awk script. Okay. 
Now this awk script, uh, let me just uh, see uh, how it, okay. So what I'll do is, this is the awk script. Now I have written this awk script into a file. Okay, now if I write it in this file, then what I'll do is, first create a text file. So how do we do is, this is the awk, is the, this is the invocation, that how we'll be invoking it. So awk is the command, then the option, options here is minus F and the file name. So what I'm telling you is this one now. What I'll do, first create a text file command.awk containing the awk command as shown below here, just to reproduce it and just to show you the power, what I'm doing is just a single command, print is there. Please uh, uh, see that we have the curly braces. Please remember uh, the, the processing block is enclosed uh, in the, uh, within the curly braces. Now we can instruct the awk to read commands from text file and perform the action. Here, how do we do it? Awk is the keyword minus f command.awk and marks.txt. Please see uh, command.awk is your uh, awk file and marks.txt is your data file. So once you execute this, this is the output I'll be getting. Let me see how, what further I can do. Okay. So basic awk syntax is something like this. Awk is the keyword the options, then the name of the script file, and then the text file, uh, sorry, the, the data file. So say awk, options, minus F, script file, and file. So minus capital F to change the input field separator. I, I'll discuss more about it a little later. And uh, minus uh, lowercase f is to, uh, to, to name a script file. Okay, this is the action. We'll see some more actions here, say, this is an example here, see. Uh, grab you have studied and grab command you have used. I'm afraid you people are not enjoying it that way. Uh, please unmute your uh, microphones first. Unmute your microphones. Okay. Uh, uh, somehow I'm getting a feeling that uh, not many people are enjoying it in this way. Is it that? No, sir. Uh, because I can see the number, uh, got a lot many people leaving the classroom. Leaving the classroom. Okay, so uh, let me just continue for the sake of those people who are enjoying it. Just yeah, this is the reason uh, everyone is listening to uh, that request of a young child you know, on somebody's microphone. Okay, now see what is grab. If you just remember, so please unmute your uh, mic because I'm feeling that because of uh, this muting of the mics, uh, what is happening is we are not getting uh, the the real classroom uh, feeling. There uh, in classroom, it, there is always some noise. Uh, so please unmute your uh, um, uh, microphones. Okay. Are there two Prince Agrawals in the class, or there is only one Prince Agrawal? Okay. So, what did the, please remember? Young child might be uh, thinking that there is some movie going on there and he wants to see that movie or he is seeing his own picture. Okay, so the processing in awk is based on the pattern. What it does is you specify a pattern, it looks for that pattern in the input record the, uh, the, and then takes the action which you have specified. So what you require to do is say pattern and then based on the uh, pattern there is an action. 
So what it does is if pattern is missing, action is applied to all lines. If pattern is missing, the match line is printed. Must have these are few of the uh, actions. Say in action line, what action you may specify that if the pattern is missing, okay, apply it on all lines. If action is missing, match line is to be printed something like this. So say here, what we have done is of oh, this is the how this is how we specify the pattern. It is it will look for a pattern for and then in the test file, what it will do is print all lines containing the string for in the test file. Okay, see this is one case. It supports a minus v option, and uh, what it is basically is this option assigns a value to a variable. Please now I'm coming to a slightly more uh, involved uh, uses of. So what it is doing is just look at this. Awk minus v name is equal to Jerry. Begin print name is equal to and the name. Now what it will do? Just see. It will take a record. First thing is it will say name is equal to Jerry, and then print. So on executing this code, what the output would be? Name is equal to Jerry. So please remember, name is the variable name. This is the variable, and Jerry is the value. And this is your awk script. That based on this, what it is doing is that begin print name is equal to. So this is how this is a typical uh, C kind of arrangement which you have in C programming. Minus dump variable, uh, the dump is uh, dump variables is another option actually. And what it does is awk uses a large number of variables, which are you can call it the built in variables. So dump variables is basically what it does is the moment you uh, use this particular uh, option, it prints a sorted list of global variables and their final values to file. Say in C programming, if you remember argc, we use. RC is the number of uh, uh, command line, uh, uh, the command uh, arguments. Sa same is the case here. So the default file is awk variables dot out. Uh, I'll tell you uh, how to really uh, use this or how, what is the, the variable. So this is a typical, this is a typical uh, value. Uh, okay. This is a typical set of uh, awk variables. So what I've done is awk dump variables. So all variable values will be dumped here. And the, the default file name is awk variables uh, awkvars.out. And this is how uh, you can just check it. We'll see uh, in the next slide that how to really. This is the standard awk variables. Let me see. Uh, there are large number of variables which awk uses. This is how. This is a, a, a small list. Uh, can you see this screen? No. Uh, this word file is visible to you? No. No, sir. No, no, sir. no, sir. Okay, I'm sharing this actually. Uh, so here is the sharing option because yeah, this is here share. share the content here. Uh, where is Microsoft? Yeah, this one. So I think uh, now it's visible. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, now sir. in the first column, we have the awk variable and uh, this is a long list. This is not a small list actually. Uh, so I I'll just uh, discuss a few of them. Uh, arc C is implies the number of arguments provided at the command line. So suppose this is uh, how you have used it. Suppose this is the case. So arc begin print arguments equal to arc C and one, two, three, four. The total count here, uh, what we are doing is just uh, see, this is your arc, arc is the uh, name of the script and this one, two, three, and four. So the total number of arguments is five. So arg C will contain the number of arguments which you have specified on the command line. Remember, this is the script starting from begin. Whatever is appearing here in red color, 
uh, sorry green color whatever is appearing in the green color that is the part of the script and so it is not the command line argument command line arguments are is this one is command line argument and these four are the command line arguments similar is the arg v an array that stores the command line arguments this arg c is the count and arg v is the actual variables okay these are some file name and all these but yes what i am more interested in is this variable see if you remember uh, a few moments back we have discussed the minus capital f option and the line every line in op, uh, in the input file is a record and record is composed of fields so what it does is fs is basically the represents the input file uh, in uh, the, the field separator so suppose it's a text file and if you do not specify anything, then the default field separator is a white space. Every white space will be considered as a, a field separator. You can change this value. I'll be having certain examples in, uh, in subsequent slides where this will be uh, this this will be possible to change uh, uh, to specify that what field separator you are using. NF is the number of fields in the current record. How many fields are there in the current record? Say the following example prints only those, those lines that contain more than two fields. Just look at this. Uh, let me just. Uh, this is visible. Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, can you make it out? The text is too small. Eco minus E, one, yeah, two. Yeah. Okay. So. What see here? What what we are uh, N F we are looking for. N F is the number of fields in the current. So what is there? See, echo minus e one two three. Now then there, there is a new line one two three. Uh, a new line one two three four. Oc N F greater than two. Okay. So what it is doing? Just see. In the first record, one, two, there are only two records. There are two fields. NF is for uh, number of fields. How many records are there in this particular uh, uh, script? One, two. Uh, remember, every line is a record. So, how many uh, uh, records are there in this particular example? Three. One. Three. Two. Yeah, there are three. And what we are what what we are looking for is we want NF to print only those where the number of fields is greater than two. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Okay. And so the output is this one. This is the output. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Please see the first record has only two record, uh, two fields. So it's you are not uh, getting it in the output. Similar is NR. NR is number of records. Number of records. So the same example when I'm saying the same example minus E. So basically the number of records less than three. So this is how represents the number of uh, sorry 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 represents the number of the current record the following see every record has a number every record has a number we will see more about that a little later that how to these records are numbered and the fields are numbered okay fnr ofmt these are some say this is some example here just look at here on executing this code you get the following result output is 2 because what we are doing is the op begin if match one, two, three, and R E. Hmm? Print R length. Length is the record. The, uh, R length is it, it represents the length of the string matched by match function. Ox match function searches for a given string in the input. See, this is your match is the function name. This is what you are looking for this is your 
uh, record and this is the string we are looking for this is the string we are looking for so this is something like a pattern and what we are to do is the uh, once it happens you are to print the uh, length of the, the string okay so this is how it will give you the re output is two similar is rs it represents the record separator and its default value is new line so uh, on executing this code you get the following rs is equal to now dollar okay r start these are some of the examples i'll share the uh, i think i have already shared this you can just go through with the uh, through through these examples and so we can have uh, you can have some better understanding of this hmm? okay uh, there is okay i'm coming uh, coming back uh, this is visible now yes sir okay so my uh, uh, powerpoint is, uh, slides uh, uh, is visible okay now i'm coming to the term, basic terminology for the input file now <clears throat> see what we have is there are there is a, there are the hierarchy is something like this you have a file each file is composed of the records and re each record is composed of the fields okay so what you have is the fields here a field is a unit of data in a line so every uh, column you can call it is a field the only exception here is that this column need not be a a continuous column it need not be a continuous column okay. so what you can do is each field you can we can use a separate field separator I mean, a different field separator so if your field itself contains some white spaces they can be accounted for or they can be used within the uh, fields itself each field is separated from each other field by a field separator. Default field, field separator is white space, as we have discussed. And a record is the collection of a fields in a line, and the data file is made up of records. That's how the hierarchy is. Now come to this. This is an important point because now just look at the numbering of these. The records are numbered from 1 to n. So the first record is numbered as one. Similar is the case with the field. So the first column is first field. The second column is the second field and so on and so forth. Now, so what this is basically a file with 10 records, each with four fields. Okay. The numbering uh, or how to access them is slightly diff uh, different. Just look at this. What it does basically is the awk the entire record is one buffer so awk support supports two types of buffers record buffer and the field buffer dollar zero dollar zero is the record buffer and dollar one to dollar n is the field buffer Okay, so you can think of this as a one dimensional array where the first field points to the complete record, whereas the subsequent elements they contain the uh, individual fields. So, field buffer is one for each field in the current record, names are $1, and record buffer is $0 holds the entire record. Please remember, $1 will not have the first record, no. Dollar one will have the first field in the current record, which is there in the buffer. Is it clear? Concept is clear. Dollar zero is the current record, which is being processed. 
and this is full record whereas dollar 1 to dollar n are the individual fields within the current record getting it yes sir yes sir okay. now this is a, a slightly uh, more uh, expanded example and it's slightly uh, well, we will uh, we will have some perform more processing on this thing so cat emps it contains array yeah. this is your data file so how many fields it contain see 1 2 3 4 and 5 the first two fields uh, contain uh, the name that is the first name and the last name you can call it then then uh, there is one more record then some dates and some size okay now just see the processing which i am uh, suggesting you this is what i have done is awk print nr dollar zero emps now emps please see emps is your data file awk is the uh, uh, command interpreter and this is the command which needs to be carried out print nr dollar zero what nr contains the uh, nr contains the current value or the the the, the current uh, the serial number of the current record serial number of the current record is held within nr okay so what we are doing is see by saying print nr dollar zero dollar zero uh, will print the complete record so what just see the first column now this is the first column what i have done is by using this simple command i have added one more field to this file and that is the serial number of each record i have added to this you don't need to write a full program uh, and see how powerful this can be that it is only a single line a, a very small command which you can use just to serial number, put the serial number on the commands. Uh, uh, on the input record. Okay. Now see, this is another example. Okay. So what I have done here is I want to, I don't want every field to be printed here. Earlier, dollar zero when I had saying the full record was getting printed. Now, out of that, what I have done is in every record, I want dollar one, dollar two, and dollar five. Okay. So see, this is your dollar one. This is the first field. Agreed. Please respond. Yes, sir. How many of you are getting it? Okay. this is your dollar one you need to remember one very very important aspect which i am emphasizing again and again and again that awk reads one record at a time reading a record means what it will do is it will first read this whole line here see this full record this will read this whole record okay this whole record is dollar zero yes or no yes sir okay yes sir. okay whereas what is this nr say nr so what it will do is this is script it will read this line first now when this line is read the value of nr would be one yes clear Yes, sir. Okay. And what, what it will do is, so what it will do is, it is now printing the record, the NR value. And then out of this record, what I'm saying is that dollar one, dollar two, and dollar five are to be printed. So this is your dollar one. <coughs> this is your dollar one. This is your dollar two. 
one, two, three, four, and five. This is your dollar five. So this is printed. Then it will read the next record. That is the Mary Adams. The value of NR will become two. So two gets printed here. Two becomes two gets printed here. And similar is the case here. So what it will do is just see this gets printed dollar one, dollar two, and dollar five. So Mary Adams and two eight seven six. That is how we can use this uh, these uh, 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 variables for um, multiple problems. Now see, I have now another file I have created. Now, remember, we were talking of the pattern, the pattern, okay? So, what it is doing is, so, just look at this. Okay. This is your data file. This is your data file, okay? And now what I am doing here, remember, first thing I have done here is that in the previous uh, case, uh, just go back. In this slide, uh, 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 slide, if you see, the, the data file is this one. This is your data file. So field separator here is a white space. Can you see it? Yes, sir. Okay. Now what I have done in the next slide, just look at this one. Here the field separator is now a colon is a field separate. It is no longer. The, this is the, the this is the field separator here. So first thing I'll require to suggest to awk script is that now the default field the, the field separator is not a white space but it's some other character. Yes, clear. Yes, sir. Okay. Now that is possible through this. Look at this minus F capital uppercase F followed by the field separator. So what it will do is see the white space here, this white space here. If I, I do not use the capital F option, this white space will be take considered as a field separator. Okay, so Tom and John's, they will become two different fields. Whereas by saying that the field separator is a column now, what I'm su suggesting is that the field separate, this Tom Jones is one field itself. Clear? Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Okay. And now just look at this, this part. What I'm doing is I've specified a pattern. That look for the pattern Jones. Look for the pattern Jones. And wherever this pattern is found, what we need to do is print dollar one and dollar two. And so what it is doing is this is your dollar one and this is your dollar two. So what gets printed here is this one. And I have not, please remember here. It is only one time I am running it. Sorry, uh, this is only one record where this particular pattern Jones is present. So only out of those records where Jones is present, this particular pattern is present, field one and field two are printed here. That's how it is. This is how it uh, processes. But why semicolon is not printed? No, no. Semicolon will not be printed for a very simple reason that semicolon is not part of the record. It is a field separator. Now, here when you are printing the what, just look at this command. What you are saying come uh, in the command? The print command is saying only the field values to be printed and no extra corrected. Okay, okay, sir. 
Got it? Only field values will be printed. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. And so this is how the awk script looks like. This is a complete uh, awk script. You have the begin, you have the pattern and the action, pattern, action, pattern, action, and then the end. So how we do is the begin is considered to be a pre-processing, whereas the pattern is the body and then the post-processing. And comment line starts with a hash. So if you are putting a hash, then you don't, uh, that will not be indicated. So begin performs processing that must be completed before the file processing starts. So this is mainly, please remember whatever you are writing on the big, in the begin section that will not be applied on the data file. Uh, because uh, in the begin section, no record will be uh, read by the screen. And so basically what it is used uh, uh, it for is that it is useful for initialization tasks such as initialize variable and to create report headings. This is your body, which uh, we have already been discussing, and this is the end screen. Now, this is how it will look like. Okay. This is, you can have for one pattern, you can have one statement. For one pattern, you can have multiple statements uh, on the same line. If you are uh, using the same line, remember the each one of them are separate statements. You need to put them, you need to separate them using semicolons. Okay, whereas uh, this is your typical shell uh, kind of arrangement where you have a pattern. For each pattern, what you need to do uh, that is uh, enclosed within the braces. So you have a statement one, you have a statement two, and you have the statement three. Okay, and uh, there may be a uh, category of patterns. You may have a simple pattern, pattern, or you may have a range pattern. Uh, please recall, I have already discussed with you the range pattern. That is uh, the upper uh, the, the square brackets zero to nine, and those. Uh, uh, do you remember those uh, uh, patterns, which are uh, to, uh, the range patterns? How to specify the range patterns? Do you remember them? No, sir. You are you are not able to recall? See, uh, yes, sir. Uh, just a square brackets. 0 to 9, 0 hyphen 9, and then a square bracket is closed. It means anything between 0 and 9. Hmm? Similarly, you have, uh, so based on the ASCII uh, data set, uh, ASCII character set, you can use the patterns and the range of the pattern. Okay. Then you have the simple patterns, which is begin and end, and then the expression and nothing. There are, I'll take some examples here. Okay. The, there is the keyword here is the match. I'll move to the next slide. Let me just go back. See, match is entire input record. Regular expression is enclosed by uh, the forward slash. And is explicit pattern matching expression. So what it is, is not visible. Not visible. It's visible. It's visible now. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, each one of you is getting. Yes, sir. So I'll take some example and then you have the expression. Uh, just look at this one. See, this is a data record I am using. Just hold up to the phone call. Puriya, I'm in a classroom. I'm taking an online class. 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 I'm taking Okay, so look at look at oh sorry. 
this one here. This is your data file. Okay. And what I am doing here is awk minus f is the field separator. And then see, this is the pattern. This is the pattern. What I am doing is two zeros followed by any number of zeros. So I am looking for this pattern. And what we are to do is just print those records. It will print those records because there is no action. So the default action is the print. Please remember default action is print those records where this pattern is matched. Okay. So see only these two records. Only these two records, a pattern double zero is matched in the anywhere in the field. I have not specified the fields. So these two records are printed. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now this is some more involved example, which is uh just uh slightly more complex hmm? so this is your data file i'll just explain it this is your data file oh this is your data file okay so one two three four five six and seven uh there are total number of seven fields and uh, the field separator here is a white space Okay, so now just look at this. So there are eight fields, no? Uh, there's a space right. between Charles yeah, yeah. and main so, also. Yeah, so there are eight fields. Hmm? Okay, now just look at this. Uh, just look at. Now what it is? Awk is the command. Dollar four. Uh, this is the field which which I am specifying. That in the fourth field, if there is anything between seven and nine, then print that. Okay. So just see what it is saying is point. See this is the pattern. Uh, Point followed by anything between seven and nine. Oh, sorry, one, two, three, dollar four. This should be one, two, three, four, two point seven. Yeah, this is actually there is seems to be an error here. This must be dollar four, the dollar five, or dollar five. And so what it is saying? Just look at this one. That anything it's not visible. Why it's not visible? Sir, it's visible. Sometimes it's get corrupted for particular person. Yeah, maybe it's uh, for some reason you may not get it. Hmm? So now what it is doing is in this field actually in this field, it is looking for a record where it. Uh, decimal is followed by any character between seven and nine. Hmm? So let me first clear it. This is not. This is what I am looking for. This this field. First is three point zero. Just see only two are the places. There are only two places. One is this one, and another one is this one. Another one is this one. Okay. And so both these records are getting printed here. So uh, just see how to specify the range. This is how the range is specified. And please remember what it is saying. Plus means anything followed by this character. That is not my concern. Anything is possible. I'm not concerned. Only thing is after decimal, there should be a character uh, number between seven and nine. Clear? Yes or no? 
So. Okay. Okay. Now just look at this one. This is saying dollar two. Not. P should not be present here. In the in the second field. In the second field and. If that is the case, then print only first field and the second. Clear? Yes, yes or no? Sir. Okay, so what we are seeing, this is how what I am getting. And this is uh, the, uh, the, the NS. The pattern here is NS. So N or S. Please remember this is not a range. So either N or S. So N and then S. And this is the beginning. This is the first character. The correct marks the first character. So first character can either be an N or it N or it can be an S to print the first field. That's what they say. These are the arithmetic operators. So we can carry out the dollar three star dollar four greater than and then this is the 500 this is how we are doing it so this is one example these are the relational operators exact this is not matched uh, this is what we are we have been using actually this is what uh, This we have used in, in our previous. This, uh, yeah, this is here. Just look at this one. This. Just look at this. So dollar two. Dollar two should not match with this pattern E. That's what it says. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so this is what not matched by regular expression. So when it says X not match Y, this is how the example is. Okay, and these are the logical operators, uh, more or less same. So dollar two greater than five and dollar two uh, less than or equal to fifteen, then print dollar zero and five. So this is what it will do is it will check whether the field value. This is please remember this is not a pattern here. This is a value. So if the value of the field is uh, greater than five and not equal not less than or equal to fifteen, then it will print the full record. That's how. It, 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 it. Okay. Uh, you can have the range patterns which we have been discussing. So, pat uh, matches ranges of the consecutive input lines. Uh, let me just give you an example. That is, yeah, just look at this one. So, range pattern, what I am saying is that first match, see, this is your pattern how we are to do it. First pattern is blue, comma, yellow. So this is basically what it is doing is that the action should start when you first match the first you find the first pattern getting it and stop when you find the second pattern so how it will do just see moment it finds that first pattern match which is a blue yes it will start printing so blue green red blue and then it finds a yellow. The moment it finds a yellow, it stops printing. But it is still not reached to the end of the record, end of the file. So it will again go and then it finds a blue here. So blue and gray are also printed. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. 
these are multiple statement this is different statements you have the expression you have the output statements print printf and yes printf exactly the same meaning what you have in c printf is formatted printing as printf is string printing you have decision you have loops and you have the control control is next get line and exit for loop you have while for and do while okay so there are multiple variables you can use these variables and this is how we use the variables for example here just see all are uh, sorry awk dollar one matches with tom matches with tom as uh, then wage is equal to dollar three uh, star dollar four and print wage and for so basically what it will do is if it finds that the first field contains the uh, uh, string uh, pattern uh, term it will do what it will do is it will set the value of wage to be equal to dollar dollar three and dollar four and it will print the value of the wages this variable wage these are again some operators okay this is how the arithmetic uh, operations can be carried out just look at this is your data file okay and the name of the script is awk script is average i want to find out the average of the uh, every student remember it is not the column wise processing it is always a record wise process awk. so what i have done is i have specified this total is equal to dollar two plus dollar three four five and six two three four five and six average is equal to total upon 5 print dollar 1 and average and when i say doll op minus f average uh, grades what it does is it print it will print average print it will compute the average of each uh, student and print the average value for that and that's so this is whole processing which we can carry out print uh, print is print easy and simple output printf is formatted c printf and then uh, format is string similar to c as printf so to, yeah so how will we make the org file like uh, we used to do vi yeah exactly the same like, thing uh, file Okay. Uh, I'll show you a, let me just see if there is, uh... okay, these are, yeah, this is a, a, a typical org file. Just look at this one. Just look at this one. In the uh, every awk script has to uh, have a, a, a an extension awk, uh, lowercase awk, and you can have your file. Now see. This is your begin section. This is your begin section. Okay, it starts with the keyword begin. Then what you have specified here is that field separator is colon here. Once you say, then you don't need uh, uh, to specify it again when you are invoking it. Then what you have to do is print marine part R us. This is a type, kind of header which I am printing. Then main catalog, this, 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 what, whatever I wanted to print. Okay, and what it is doing is just this is your action part. your this is your action part this is your action part what you have to do is print f percentage 3d uh, just recall your uh, c programming how uh, what what do you do with the percentage 3 
D that is it's a decimal number in three uh, leading digits. Then tab, this is minus 20 S, same 6.2 F, dollar one, dollar two, and dollar three. And then the count plus plus. So it's more like the exactly the same. So I hope you have uh, got this flavor of uh, the awk script. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me see uh, what is there uh, in the previous slides. Yeah, this is some processing which I have done actually. These are certain examples. Okay, I have al already shared these uh, slides with you people. You can uh, simply use them and uh, get a, 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 an experience of this. Okay, this is an array. Again, all provides you array also. So, more or less the same way. Same way, array name index is equal to value. So, list one is equal to one, two, three. So, that's how it does. So, this is how this is the there is one more case actually. This associative arrays, uh, this I'll take uh, sometimes uh, in the next lecture this, because remember, awk is a full fledged programming language. Okay, so maybe I'm not uh, really able to. Uh, cover it in one lecture, but yes, few more constructs I'll be uh, discussing in my subsequent lectures. Uh, so for the time being, I call it a day. So what we have discussed today is that what is an awk, what awk is all about, and the basic processing that how to really uh, carry out a basic uh, fun a basic processing using awk. How to complete write the complete programs that will be taking in our subsequent class. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can ask me. So first question: uh, Are you means uh, are you satisfied with this kind of delivery at least uh, to some extent? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, means you are getting it and you have uh, means uh, uh, you are getting the feeling that okay you are in a classroom or you are not getting the feeling that you are not uh, in a classroom no sir we are getting a feeling in a classroom but i am not getting because i am not very comfortable uh, not facing the students actually uh, i generally uh, take a class by facing the students and keeping my presentations uh, at my back which is not the case here actually. But anyway, uh, in bad times or when in difficult times, this is the uh, best we can do. So this will come, we will continue. Uh, you will get further notification. Please inform your other colleagues also. Yes, sir. That, uh, hmm, the, they can also join and uh, utilize whatever time. And uh, meanwhile, what you will do is uh, please uh, uh, run these scripts. Uh, which are there in this uh, presentation and then come out with uh, if you have any doubts then we will discuss those doubts in my next class next class may be as early as tomorrow let me just find out my tomorrow schedule and then i'll uh, schedule a class you will get the you will get the notifications for this uh, through mail only okay, sir. Thank you. If you have any doubts, you can ask me now. No questions? Okay, thank you.